I'm with a lot of people from uh, Lower Green in Surrey at the lunch break of a terrific workshop on asset-based community development and uh, talking to Jenny French who is the secretary of the Community Association and uh, Lower Green is one of 17 Nesta neighbourhood challenge areas and one of the things that that's been offering is prizes for people to undertake various projects in the community. But Jenny, you were telling me that um, what's worked particularly well here is what we're talking about today, which is a more community asset-based approach. Um, how has that worked? Yes, that's right. The asset-based approach has really um, worked. We've seen that just by identifying what people in the community have, their skills, their talents, their desires, their aspirations, we've been able to connect people together in a very small scale way to start with, but we've shown how that really does build community. Um, a really good example of this is our Knit and Natter group. Um, that came out of our English class. We had some people in an English class needing to learn the language. Um, and the English teacher asked them what they did in their spare time, and some of them said that they liked to knit. So she then suggested that they came to the community centre to do their knitting together, um, and at the same time practice their English. And it's just been fantastic. It's taken off. They've started to make um, knit some beautiful hats and scarves. They could actually sell them, but they, what they've chosen to do is to um, give them to the homeless men in a local hostel um, as their way of giving something back. And it's just been fantastic that some people knitting together is actually knitting community. Let's go and have a look. They're over here, aren't they? That's right. These are our ladies. They're modelling some of the hats and scarves. And down here is Dorita, who actually is a seamstress herself, um, most amazing knitter, and she now wants to teach some um, sewing to the rest of the group of ladies. Um, the other group that has really taken off in the same way, and this, it's all about making things together and doing things together that we found has been so successful, is the art group, um, where some of the people that go to the art group now actually want to join the knitting group. So they bring their lunch to the community centre, um, have their art group, and then stay for knitting afterwards. And it's just a fact, been a fantastic way of cr connecting people together in the community. And the best thing about it is it's cost little more than a ball of wool. And um, one of the things that Nestor asked you to do was uh, write a blog. And I've been reading it, it's really interesting. But how difficult was that to put together? Yes, that's right. The um, task of writing the blog fell to me for the last few months. And it was a bit daunting. Um, and it was always one of those things I was going to do when I had time. But to be honest, when I actually did it and sat down and started to write, I just couldn't stop. And it was just amazing to really see how much was happening in the community. Um, you could say, you know, it didn't look very much in one sense, but as soon as you started to write about it, actually, yes, it was, it was all happening. So small scale, but it's really beginning to grow and lots of potential.